Hi, this is Joe from Prep Agent. I'm here with my friend Alex Wilcox out of Vacaville, California. It's about an hour from everything, including San Francisco, Sacramento, and Napa. It's a great place to go if you ever guys need to visit. If you want to buy a home, she's the person. So Alex, you wanted to share some things? Yes, I did. So you asked me to give some tips of how I am successful and what I have learned so far in my real estate career. I've been doing this for, well, about six months now. And I would say that the number one thing that I learned is I really watched you, Joe. I watched um, my dad growing up. He owned his own business and he went out and got business and some agents that I really admired. And there was one thing that really stuck out to me is that I could tell the people who really genuinely loved what they were doing and really loved helping their clients and wanting to listen to their clients, be there for their clients, hold their hand for their clients, because that's important. What they're doing is a huge investment. They're making a huge investment mm -hmm. and they're changing their lives. Their home is their life. And it's our job to help them not feel overwhelmed by this and to make them feel that we are there to help them. So I, I really try to do that in my open houses is just get to know the client and get to know what they want and how I can help them do that. And I really feel like the energy that I bring into the conversation is huge also. Um, I remember Joe, one time you had uh, a webinar and you were just not super peppy that day. You just weren't. And everyone put all these show notes in about what's Joe, why are you not peppy? You need some coffee. And we as students really gleaned on your energy. We love your energy. That's why we like watching you. And that to me really stood out is I am feeding my clients the energy that they need to feel like they can make these big decisions because it's daunting and it's hard and it's frustrating to, and it's overwhelming to, to move and pack and find a new house and relocate. And so I really feel like that is a huge, a huge part of being a good real estate agent is being there for your clients. Yeah. People are a reflection of your own attitude. That's for sure. Now I'm going to look for that video and delete it. <laughs> it was a great video. I think it was just one of the, like our podcast webinars, but it was a yeah. good learning moment for me. I really appreciated it. I don't yeah. know if you remember that day. I, there's a lot. So, I do them every day. So it's, you know, you do them every day. You do them every day, but I just, I learned a lot from it. So thank you. Thank you, Joe, for all that I'm, you did. I'm in glad your webinars. you did. And now you're rocking and ready to go. <laughs> and you're like a superstar. I am ready agent. to go. Is there any other tips you want to share? <laughs> Yeah. So the one other tip I have is, is that I, what you need to do is that there's a lot of us agents out there who love what we do. And the other tip is what role are you wanting to fill for your clients? And why would they choose me over somebody else? And so the other role that I want to fulfill is when clients come to me is that they know that I'm going to educate them. So when I first bought my first house, many years ago, I felt like I was a kindergartner taking a college exam and it was overwhelming and it was daunting and it was, it was just overwhelming. And then when I started taking your course, I still felt overwhelmed, but then you put it in very simple and concise ways. And so I could understand it. And I use many, many of your analogies when I am talking to clients, like, one of them was asking about escrow. And so I told them about your ring and your proposal. And um, they really understood a lot more and they felt empowered when I was able to educate them. So one of the things that I do to educate them is on my Instagram, I have a wise Wednesday. And every Wednesday I post just some educational information in kind of a fun way about real estate. So today I talked about how you should, what you should do to the 10 easy ways to prepare to get your house on the market. 
Um, I had one other client talk to me and I educated him that you can talk to a lender like six months in advance to getting pre-approved so that you can get your ducks in a row before you um, want to sell a house. And he had no idea. They, have, they had no idea he could do that. And I have people all the time talk to me. So explain this to me. I'm not quite sure. And it's just a really good talking point and makes me look a little bit more credible when I want to educate people and make them feel empowered and make them part of the conversation. So those are my, those are my two tips. They're good ones because that is the fastest way to build credibility. It's just kind of be able to simplify everything for everybody. These yeah. people don't want to feel stupid, feel like they're being treated in a condescending way. With what are, What's one of the things I say? Don't use complicated words to explain complicated things because they just make it complicated. You know, yeah. <laughs> and people yeah. don't say anything and they move on. They get very antsy. Yeah, it, yeah it's, it's, a, it's a big decision. And it, like you said, it's the biggest investment of their life. And they want to make the right decision. And they're hiring you and they're going to you for that advice and they don't want a lot of complicated mumbo jumbo they want okay tell this to me in concise ways and so i've taken a lot of what you've taught me and really brought that into the world and so i appreciate that that's great because it is a personal service contract there's a reason there's always need for real estate agents because this is one thing people do not want to do through a website or through some sales rep behind the counter, no you know no they want people they can relate to and people they can talk to and someone they can cry on their shoulder or understand, be like, I'm so sorry. I, I don't understand this. Explain it to me. So. Right. That's so what that, I've been working hard to do. Yeah. You're doing great. With that being said, we got all the links to your stuff in the show notes below. And thank you. you have got to check the show notes. They could find Alex and what she's doing and find her wise Wednesdays and everything else she's doing. <laughs> And then if you got business you want to do in her area, say it again, the Vacaville area? Yes. Vacaville area, it's Northern California. You know how to reach her just by going to the show notes below and you'll see all the links to her social media and any other contact information she wants to provide. So with that being said, this is Joe for Prep Agent and I will talk to everybody soon. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Okay. Bye. Bye everyone. Good luck.